Good morning, students. Today we will see that how we have to give our exam of automata, the descriptive exam using exam.net. First of all, you will open any web browser, enter exam.net, and then on the student key, you have to choose this portion as a student and enter the student key which has been shared with you for your exam. I am entering a trial student key. For a different question paper then you will enter your first name and last name for example i enter my kumar and fetch the exam you may be asked to enter your phone number also when you will begin the exam you will see the question paper over here this is a different question paper you will be seeing the question paper of automata this is a sample question paper and over here you have to write your answers this is very much similar as word what you will do is question number one your answer whatever is your answer and if you have to use some symbol some special character you can use the special characters from here now remember that if you have to use a special character which is not available over here do not waste your time use another special character and just describe that you have chosen this special character instead of that special character write the name of that for example if you want to use delta and delta is not there you use lambda so you can write that you are using lambda instead of delta d e l t a that you are using lambda instead of delta d e l t a so you have to proceed with your exam without worrying that the special character is not there in this field not only this you will be given different things also which all those things are not required for automata but i am sharing the features for example you have to give a mathematic exam and if your math teacher give a formula sheet then you can also use this formulas but it is not always available it depends upon the teacher what the teacher has given for automata i have given all the features to you a very good feature of geogebra is also given to you where you can make a graph though for this paper nothing is required a drawing tool is also available by which if you have to do certain drawing you can see now see this type of message can also come because i lost my focus you have been temporarily logged out from the exam please provide an explanation over there because i was moving this a power online screen recorder if i do certain thing this is an ai based software so you will be logged and you have to give your reason any reason i was just moving the recorder now it is up to the teacher that whether he accepts your request or he does not accept your request and there are different type of security measures we can apply so the security measure which i have applied is that if you will do anything wrong you will not be prompted you will be just your exam would be submitted so be cautious do not move your screen while writing your exam do not open any other tab what you have to do is only write onto the portion which is given to the right only use the portion which is being given by this software of exam.net now in my question paper i have given three types of questions one is you have to directly write into the screen second is there is an option if you want to write onto the screen you can write onto the screen or if you want to write it onto the copy and then scan you can scan and the third is where you don't have to write onto the screen you have to scan your answer by writing into the copy so i'll show you that how you can use the scan option of this software now before we proceed to this what you need is you have to sit in the exam along with your mobile phone but it is requested that do not peep into the, your mobile phone again and again and see answers from net for this paper because this is an ai based software all your moves would be recorded and when you submit your exam in front of your name a sheet will come which will be visible for to me that what was your activities during the exam so do not try to do misuse anything 
Now how to scan is, first thing is you have, you require a mobile phone, any smartphone can do. If it is Android 9 version or above, then the scanning can be done by normally from your camera. If it is a below version, then you should, it is advisable that you install a QR code scanner app in your mobile phone before coming to the exam. So install the QR code scanner. Open the internet in your mobile phone. Click on a scan solution portion. Now after clicking on a scan solution option, what you have to open is you have to open the QR code scanner app of your phone and then like I am scanning, you will scan the QR code within moment it will be scanned and this screen will be visible on your phone. From this screen, after scanning the QR code, you have to open the link which is given. As soon as you click on open the link, the same screen which is being shown on the system will come onto your phone. Now what you have to do is, you have the answer which you have written on your copy. You have to take the photograph of that answer by clicking on this button, scan solution. Now remember, the camera's permission has to be given to the browser of the mobile phone because this button will try to open access your camera. So remember to give the permissions of camera to your Google Chrome or whatever browser you are using in your phone. Do this before coming to the exam. Then see if I say that this is my answer. I'll put on a scan solution and I'll take the photograph. Now I've taken this photograph. For example, this is the photograph which I want to put out to my answer. It will ask that whether you want to retry the photograph or okay. So I'll say that okay. After doing this okay, it, I say that upload my photograph onto the system. So it is saying saving the picture. So internet connection is required on your phone also and to the system also from where you are giving the exam. It is saving the picture. It will take some time depending upon the speed of internet. As soon as the picture is saved, it will ask for an OTP. See. This OTP will appear onto your screen, the same screen from where you have scanned. You can see the OTP is 774. As soon as I write the OTP, it says that this is the image has been placed into your writing area. Now I go back to my writing area, show exam, you can see. This was the answer which I had written. This is the answer which I have scanned. So the answer which I have scanned has also come into my writing area. After one hour, the exam would be automatically submitted. You don't have to worry. If you want to submit it before one hour, you have to click on this submit exam. Now, before I finally submit the exam, just a recap, open exam.net, enter the exam key, which is being shared to you through Google Classroom. Begin your exam, write your answers over here. The answer which requires a scan solution, click on a scan solution. Make sure your phone has an app to read the QR code and the proper permissions of camera is given to the browser so that you can scan the solution. Upload your answer over here, submit it and this is an AI based software. It is keeping an eye on you. So be cautious and this is something which you will enjoy and it will help you in your semester exam. So be happy, be safe, stay at home and learn a lot, prepare for the exam. And finally, you have to click on submit the exam. If you ask that are you want to submit, I say, okay, and submitting and the exam has been submitted. So that's all. Best of luck friends.